guys happy new year welcome to Anne's mad club my name is nyakini akathura or you can call me malimo Anne. and um i'm so excited for this new year and i thought um before we get into the course and learn we should first you know introduce and learn the basics um technically just um there's a there's one of you who asked on facebook how can i pass mathematics so we're going to be looking at just eight tips that will help you you know um pass mathematics and you know yeah so i'm hoping you guys are ready and excited about this new year for the candidates for the ones who are still preparing i'm hoping these tips will help you so yeah so let's get into and understand some of the basic um and just some tips on how to pass maths let's go into the steps and the first um, step is basically you need to have a right and you know positive attitude and this comes in um, where you get to manifest and you know you have to tell yourself that you know I love mathematics you could do this it can be in the morning or in the evening or before you start your mathematics class or revision remember to tell yourself I love mathematics so always make sure that you have the right attitude and um, you, your friends you know with guys who are positive and are always like no math is easy and so on yeah so first you need to have the right attitude two you need to be intentional and by this I mean um, you need to learn with an intention before you get into the class you need to um, have made up your mind and you're very intentional you know what I want to listen I want to understand before the end of this lesson I want to have understood this topic and so on so basically you need to be very intentional so that's the second thing that you need to do um the third thing that you need to do you actually need to be equipped with um the math concept and formulas you know you could get um different questions in the same topic but you get to apply the formula differently either you can change the subject of the formula and so on so um for this i can just advise you to have a specific exercise book um aside from your maths book and here is where you get to write you know um you know you just write the formulas and you could even have some few examples to make you remember and understand this book will really come in handy when you're preparing for the exams you can therefore just sit down and look at the formulas before you get into the exam the other thing that you actually need to do okay we're in number four sorry <laughs> you need to practice like you need to practice and practice and practice and by this you know you can um practice using past papers and so on so always make sure that you are you practice enough before the day ends you spare like two hours or even one hour just brush through um, practice what you were taught in class just to see whether you can remember and so on yeah so you need to practice um the fifth point is you need to join a study group and by here you need to um sit down with people who basically um share like the same vision who definitely want to pass mathematics and um you could even get people who excel in the subject who will actually help you, you know um understand what you didn't what you didn't understand in class and so on so you need to have a group discussion and you need to set time aside for the group discussion so you need to have a timetable for your group discussion and now apart from classwork you need to set a specific timetable for your study group so um then you need to learn from your mistakes and this is where by once you're done with a specific um paper you've done an exam and so on or even from your discussions learn from the mistakes that you have done why did i fail this question how could i have done it better and so on and also you need to have the necessary materials um, before you get into an exam make sure you have your own calculator your own geometrical set as well as mathematical tables and so on you know one thing i hate is during the exam room and you know your friend taps you and they're like you say the calculator or can i borrow your calculator you know this can this will actually you can end up wasting time you know before passing it to them asking it back and so on so always make sure once you're in the exam room you have everything you need be it the ruler your pencil your pen your rubber everything you don't need to consult your friends or even borrow anything yeah. and lastly um the eighth point which is our last point you need to be very keen remember um every point every mark counts be it the one mark the two marks it actually counts so you need to be very keen make sure you following and you know 
you've highlighted your work well like from the formula to the working out and therefore your answer so make sure that you're very keen so i'm hoping that the eight tips are um, they'll actually help you and i've answered your question because one of us had asked how can i pass mathematics so these are just um some of the simple basic steps that you can actually um um, apply and i'm hoping you all the best so thank you so much guys um happy new year for the candidates i'm hoping you'll be preparing for your exams and i'm hoping these tips will help you so thank you so much guys bye bye